Hey guys, welcome back. So in this second video, I'm going to show you how to set up the news feed that we're going to be using to grab. Um, we're going to be using to grab the uh, content from Element 14 to display in our newsreader. So basically, first we want to just do a quick Google search for Element 14 feeds, click on the feeds page, and then click on the uh, all content feed. It should pop up a uh, XML file that looks like this, and from here is how we're going to map our feed. So we're going to go back to our Drupal site, and from within our Drupal site, we need to go to Structure, Feeds Importers, and just click on Feeds Importers. So to begin our uh, to begin our feed, what we're going to do is we're going to edit our first one, this feed. This is where we're going to import our actual Element 14 feed stuff from. As you can tell, the BeagleBone Black is actually kind of slow right now. I'm putting a pretty big load on it doing all this. But once set up, it runs fine. As long as you set your feed imports to delete after a few hours. If you don't set your feeds importers to delete after a few hours, um, what will happen is the internal storage on your Beagle Black will fill up and it will pretty much brick your device until you SSH in and start deleting some stuff. All right, so now we first thing we want to do is come to our basic settings and check out the settings. And we're gonna rename this feed hyphen feed hyphen element fourteen, and uh, we're gonna be importing RSS so whatever attach this content type to um let's attach it to article we're going to import every hour and we will not pop process it in the background because this is the only thing we're going to be doing so click save and save that Now with that been that's saved, we're gonna come here and we don't really need to change our fetcher because it's set default to an HTTP fetcher. Um, but we are gonna look at HTTP fetcher settings. And basically, as long as it's set up to auto detect feeds, that's fine. Um, and everything there, so we don't need to change anything there. So our parser, we're gonna use a common syndication parser, and which just sets stuff for our SS feeds. So we're gonna check the settings here. There are no settings, so we'll leave it alone. Um, now our processor is basically how it creates the content on the Drupal site from the content it imports from the RSS feed. So what we're going to do is check out our node processor settings. And we want to bundle it to a feed item. Now we're going to bundle it to an article, I'm sorry. And we are going to uh, not worry about any of these settings. Our text format, we want to set it to full HTML. And we want to set the author to admin or whatever the, the uh, root admin user for your Drupal site is. Um, and we want to set the nodes to expire after one hour. So that means they'll import 
and then last for one hour and then be deleted. And this will save you a lot of heartache from your BeagleBone Black bricking and you having to go in and delete some stuff to free up some space. So we want to click save. And now we're about to move on to where the uh, magic begins. So under node processor, click on the mapping setting for create and update nodes. Okay, so here's how we pretty much want to set this up to. So you want our title to be targeted to the title, our publish date to the publish date. Actually, we're going to remove that because we don't really need that. Um, we do need the item URL and the unique ID. We'll, set, we'll leave that. Um, we do want to add something for our description, but we're going to remove that.
this will allow you to have a 7 inch newsreader on your desktop on your desk at work or home or wherever that uh, is quickly navigable by just touch screen or a mouse keyboard combo um, I hope you've enjoyed the videos thanks for watching and I hope you really enjoy the rest of the tutorial